Welcome to Halo 3 ODST, the newest game in the Halo series. We're going in hard! But this time, Master Chief isn't here to save the day. You're a human soldier, but not just any soldier. You're an orbital drop shock trooper, an ODST. ODSTs drop behind enemy lines from miles above the surface of a planet. In this short, we follow the journey of one soldier, Tarkov, from the moment he is inspired to become a soldier, through his coming of age on the battlefield, and as he becomes a leader. Our story begins with a military funeral. Bungie, Halo's developer, collaborated with the Academy Award-winning costume designer from Saving Private Ryan and Band of Brothers to design a Halo-style Honor Guard uniform, complete with special insignias and rank displays. Legacy. The studio behind movie villains like The Alien and Terminator used 3D models created by Bungie to create accurate replicas of the same weapons, armor, and enemies that appear in the game, down to the smallest detail. We had about 30 people working on this for about two weeks to go from digital files to full wearable costumes, which was a tremendous effort. Fortunately, we got some help from Bungie. They gave us some files, and uh, from those digital files, we were able to rapid prototype. Included was the game's newest weapon, the silenced submachine gun. They also created the special ODST armor from the shiny new version right off their assembly line to the battle-scarred version worn by the characters in the short. With the same 3D models from the game, they created an actual brute miner, one of the game's main enemies. Its facial expressions were controlled by tiny motors linked to a remote control. The brute even has its signature spike rifle. Paratroopers today use parachutes, but 500 years from now, the parachute has been replaced by a drop pod. Drop pod is a single man method of insertion, so you can think of it almost as a, a manned bomb. Um, this is the way that ODSTs insert into battle. They drop in from orbit in single man pods, the doors blow off, and they, they come out fighting. To replicate a drop, an interior section of a single pod was built. Then the visual effects artists at Asylum created a dizzying freefall view and Compton view screens to show other ODSTs and the pod's various gauges and controls. But some of the biggest stars of the film were the various locations. The battle scene was shot at the bottom of a strip mining coal operation. This location served as the planet where our rookie ODST has his first drop. With some help from the pyrotechnic crew, Asylum created the intense firefight, falling drop pods, covenant banshees, and of course, the climax of Tarkov's encounter with the group. For the funeral, a military cemetery was created inside the cooling tower of an active nuclear power plant. Just outside the tower, a mud pit, an obstacle wall, and a razor wire course were created to simulate ODST training. Our drill instructors, actual Hungarian Special Forces soldiers, fired blanks as the recruits scrawled through the razor wire. Finally, the chute moved to an abandoned Soviet aluminum refinery. This is the location of the final Battle Cross memorial scene. Tarkov, now older, pays his last respects to a fallen squad mate then leads his young soldiers into battle once again. We shot one additional scene on this location, which you won't see in the short. In fact, you will only see it here, right now. The ODST. Join them and drop into hell. Feet first. <laughs> 